The vagrant hippopotamus. Did you turn the light on? What? Oh my god. No, what? Do we need a light on? Look! <laughs> we're in the middle of a city. That sounds awesome. Anyway. How's the video look? Good. In case we don't, in case we didn't end up, up, up bleh, end up uploading our previous video, Noel, uh, Noel and I today are joined by Chris, whoops, Chris, and Jono, who's dressed as a nerd. It's Halloween. I'm, I'm a fox for today. Yeah, he's a... You're a fox every day. Thanks. Anyway, I'm having doubts about uploading our other video since it was really dark and looked like crap, and we got kind of chased out at the end. We were in the woods, and then some dude in a car who obviously wasn't a cop he stopped us, meal. and then made this really creepy comment before driving off. I was worried we were going to get shot. Same. What you the? Better leave. You know, this actually is a... I am going to take some pictures. Oh, jeez. Sure, yeah, not the creepiest place to be on Halloween, I admit, but... It's definitely a step up from the last place. Well, this is Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's pretty creepy for, that's pretty creepy for where we live. <laughs> you know, a place where nothing really happens. Nothing ever happens in Not really, nothing important. Oh, you know, spam. Oh my god, spam isn't important, Chris. Uh, you know what? I got into a fight with a Hawaiian lady on Facebook because I said that. What? Spam doesn't exist? Spam is, uh, spam is gross because usually uh, girls think... Spam is gross though. Spam is really gross. I think Noel's the only one in this group that actually likes spam. I like spam, I but it's spam. expensive. We have to cook I... it so it's crispy because if it's all like doughy and stuff and you can, it's still got the softness. It's Do any of you know what potted like meat is? Because I just like making yeah. toast with potted meat. Because I love the feeling. Basically it's just smushed good. up spam. Because I love the feeling that I might need open heart surgery after eating a couple cans of it. Right? <laughs> what about cram? Do you like cram? This isn't Fallout. No, but do you like cram? No, I never take it when I'm playing. No, because like when I was in middle school I was really obsessed with spam because there's a song by Weird Al named Spam. We're not gonna sing it though because no, I know, but then we're I, not gonna owe him royalties. And then I went to Austin, Minnesota and I saw the Spam Museum and I was really obsessed with that after that. So when I first played Fallout, I was like, this is fake cram. So Down I collected there. a bunch of it. Huh? Oh. Yeah, this place is huge, by the way. Good, good it's to know. Built in like the 1800s, so like oh the yeah. And unlike the other place we were at, Whoops, this has people here. So we're not gonna get arrested. Or threatened by some weird guy in a car with a freaking industrial strength light. They just shines out the damn window at us. With his bright time. Like a jerk. Sits behind us until we move, then pulls up to the side. Are you guys leaving? Yeah. You better be. It's like I'm pretty sure he was just I'm mean? pretty sure he was just security for the freaking cemetery we were next to, but we didn't go in the cemetery. We went deep into the forest next to it. Yeah, we went in the reservoir park. He gets out of his car and he's long and tall and old and he's like, the funeral's about to begin, sir. At night? That's a and... reference to Phantasm. Oh my god, stop referencing stop. the movies we haven't seen. Oh, that is beautiful, actually. Get back here for a second. That is pretty. I do too. There we go. I wonder if that'll show up on the video. Your pictures will be much better than mine. I guarantee it. You'll yeah, learn. they're definitely going to be better than mine. <laughs> Okay, I'll just get some shots from up here. Whoops. Hey, look, you can see all the steel beams from what used to be, because, like, back in the 1800s, they had, like, actual mills that ran through the water that, like, pushed it and churned all the stuff. So wow, cool. I didn't know we were getting a Minnesota history lesson along with this little adventure. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just really excited about this. <laughs> right. Where the hell is Chris? I don't know. He went back there. He told us to wait, but I don't think we're going to... No, not really. Sorry we didn't wait. What? Sorry we didn't wait. This camera actually takes amazing pictures. Um, uh, I You're don't done. know if it's got... Nice. I'm not 
sure how much of it's left. There's a bridge down there. I don't know if we can go on it. Well, there are people over there, to. dude. Uh, that's where we're walking to. Yeah. We need to get down there first. Right? But no, you should sure take pictures with this. Because it's got like light adjusting things and yeah. it makes pictures all bright. All cameras take can do that. Pictures. Oh. So, wow. What? This, that, there's another facility up there. Just go to that one. Facility? Gold medal flower. Nice. I'm taking pictures as well. My post is on my Instagram, but I don't know. But, for right now, I'm taking you, our audience, down further. Hey, check it. Some stuff over here. Oh, wait. Here are the stairs. Here are the metal stairs. actually going in something. Well, I mean, I didn't... Well, let's see. In all, John wants to know if we can actually go in somewhere. Well, I'm not sure where the stuff I needs to be. We haven't gotten there yet. There. Let's go over here, then. Let's go where there aren't people. That all looks fenced off. Huh? That all looks fenced off, dude. Oh, is it? Okay, well, if it's fenced off... That means we're probably not allowed there. Plus, there's just some shifty little truck over there. I don't want to be near that. Oh, man. All our YouTube viewers are going to know we're friggin' pansies. <laughs> Everyone else on YouTube breaks the law for reviews. Oh no, did he vanish? Oh, there he is. Damn. Yeah, well, maybe next time we'll get lucky. Golo. Oh, it is Golo. Or is it gold? I don't know. Yeah, because I mean, the. I don't know. Or is it Gateway? This is rickety as heck. Right? Huh. So this is actually kind of neat. What? I'm gonna go over here. Oh god, that smells awful. That's it? Yeah, kinda. Oh, can't even see what it is over there with the... Let me turn the light on. There we go. Check it out, y'all. This is kind of creepy. That's yeah, I think this is like a sewage area. Ugh. So, who wants to break that lock off and explore the sewer? Except Not me. I'm going this way. That's the floor. That's the bottom. <laughs> you would... Oh, because this flips open, I think. Because that's what it looks like. Yeah, let's keep walking. It smells like rancid waste. But if it's a sewer, of course that's what it smells like. So this used to be part of the building. Huh? What? You ever had like a like a little bit like septic like run into your house? A little bit, dude. Like when I when I lived in a house when I lived in a house like down in Clear Lake, our entire septic tank just burst out of the damn ground, like literally exploded. Yeah, they had to dig up half our yard. So that's sewage. I mean, Heck, when I, I used to live on Moore Lake, we had like a flood and then like sewage kind of went in there too. 
Actually, come to think of it, that wasn't even the first time I'd smelled gross sewage. That neighborhood I lived in had the water treatment plant for like three different towns. Right? Is this the sewer or the river? What's the what difference? The, the factory was here. Man, look at these structures though. Dun, dun. These are meant to hell. At first I thought this was a bridge. Right? <laughs> Iron giant. What? Oh, ha, <laughs> I get it. I don't get it. <laughs> this is not cool. This is art. <laughs> I can't really wonder what this is, though. I said this used to be, like, the factory. Wait, wait. Let me back up. I want to get a picture of this. Y'all, get out of my shot. Y'all. Right? Ah, crud. I don't have, uh, light. Yeah, Screw it. Wait. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of light, so I can't get a good one. What? Oh. Hey, Jono. Jono has glasses now. <laughs> and no, that's not because of his nerd costume. He just is a nerd. Yeah, this isn't really a costume. This is just what I wear normally. It's not a costume. It's a way of life. Pretty much. Yeah. Huh. Come on. Add more patches to this. Do it. Come on, let's keep moving. Uh, let's go. Can I get a huge patch and stick it on the back as a slayer? Doom Slayer. See what's further down that way. Maybe there is some like underground parts we could check out. Nope. Yes. One of these days we should take a trip to. Sleep oh God! Sleep. It's going through my sleeve. That is some stink. Right. I mean, I can hear them like talking loudly, but I don't know if anyone on the video is going to be able to hear them. But it's all right. They're just talking about patches and stuff. Nothing special. Well, no, it's not talking about me. <laughs> Anyone got a... Yeah, I can't get a good shot of that, but it's like just another one of those like little water areas. Well, I mean, they already defaced both this sign and several other things, so that's unfortunate. We here at Vagrant Hippopotamus do not condone vandalism, especially not of historic sites. What? You see up there? There's actually like rooms and stuff up there. What? Into the side. Oh. That's insane. So like was this whole place the building? Yeah, I think so. I'm, in fact, I'm pretty sure these huge, obviously destroyed bars used to be part of the building. Like support beams or something? Yeah, like I think it collapsed after a certain time. Or maybe they even just tore it down because it was so old. But... Oh, small mill. But... What? What's up? I was going to see if we could climb around there. Like walk around in the place, but... No, it's all water down here. Straight drop to the river, so... That's really awesome up there. Yeah. There's a way to get inside. I'd love to see inside some of those old structures. Yeah, this whole place is really neat. I mean, something built in the 1800s in addition, would be amazing to look at. In addition to mine and Noel's love of things like video games, books, movies, cards, TV, we also really like historical stuff. We also like memes. Well, yes, of course. That goes without. That should go without saying that we like memes. You can't That's see it. It's too dark, but I'm dabbing right now. I, you couldn't tell because I'm holding the camera, but I was dabbing. Here, I'll do it again. 
<laughs> what are we gonna do next? No clue. Uh, it's like lights all over the place here. What do you think they turn on? Do you even think they work? That's also a good question, but I don't know. Well, like you said, like right here, they got them lined up so they're pointed at all the structures and stuff. Oh. So, this is not food, it's art. I know he already made the joke. Why are we making Iron Giant uh, giant references? We lost. Okay, I'm going to pop it this way now. And I'm going to pace quickly. And then we'll smell the shit smell again. It smells like wood milk. Please don't start with that. We're going to get demonetized. We're going back here again? Yeah, there's uh, oh, wait. We... further down there. We didn't walk that far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ligma. <laughs> you people. Whatever you do, don't. If you don't know what that is, which you likely do, don't look it up. Ligma. Don't look up Sigma either. Oh my God. What's, what's Ligma? <laughs> we all know what it is. No, we do know. That's the problem. Huh. Yeah, there's like a walking trail right there. Look at these little areas. That's a little steep though. But we can walk through the building is still God, open. God, don't remind me of walking trails that are steep. Hey. What is urban archaeology? This. This is Oh, wow. Look at that. Wow. You know, I think that's a that's, YouTube I'm pretty sure that's where we're well. standing right now. Oh, so like these little gap areas were like this, uh, these things. Yeah. Sneakers. That's pretty cool. It like funneled water from the mill area back out into the river, or? I think so, and I, I, like they use turbines or something. I mean, I'd probably read through this, but that'd be really boring for probably a lot of people. I'm sure they could Google it if they really wanted to. Every now and then I get a little bit... What I like turn around and then I started singing that. Once upon a time, I was falling in love, but now I'm only falling apart. <laughs> I don't know if that song is really crude or not. I like, I like that song. Just turn around. Turn around! Turn around. <laughs> but yeah, if y'all are interested, look up this mill. What's it called? Uh, just look up old uh, mill ruins, Minneapolis. That's very helpful. It's literally just called Mill Ruins Park. Oh. So it's part of the Gold Metal Flower Company. We should watch Urban Exploration. And they actually no, have urban one building up there we should walk up to. In fact, if we can find stairs up ahead, we should cut across the street to check out that stuff, too. Because that would be some pretty cool stuff to check out as well. Yeah, I don't know if it's open, but if uh, this would be a great night for it to be open. It's I only want. seven, dude. Hey, look, guys. Pillsbury. Best flower. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, right over there, dude. No, I mean, oh. is it the best? Oh, I don't know. I don't really use things that require flour. I'm not big I into baking. I baking, so I don't even bother. Right? I can cook, sort of. Offering people gum isn't cooking. What? <laughs> I don't know. It's just a meme. Hey, you want a cough drop? <laughs> Off. <laughs> Whoop, shoot. Wait, can we walk up this way? Looks like it's been done a hundred times. Four. Six. We're not gonna get yelled at by another guy in a white car, are we? I hope not. <laughs> yeah, that's the same dude. Hey, what did I tell you? You were close 20 miles from here. What did I tell you? <laughs> Carl, get the bone saw. Carl! <laughs> oh, oh my god. God, I hate The Walking Dead. Oh, God, yeah. Chris, Chris, get your butt out of the shot. Oh, jeez. Is it true that they were doing this? Boofta, we're getting a leg workout today. Holy crap. Legma? <laughs> legma? Start with me, Chris. Oh, no, Chris has legma. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. It's chronic. <laughs> I got the chronic. The chronic is a cerebral. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no one will get that reference. Not until Noel publishes the damn stories. Oh. Okay, so here's the other part. Is this the building over here? We probably just got backtracked and went up that part easily again. Yeah, we can. 
Neat. <laughs> Rental bike. No, you don't. Bramblestein. Curse you, Bramblestein! Curse you! Oh, hey, wow, we hit 20 minutes on the video already. So I think this is all part of it, too, though, by the looks of it. <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like we're in trouble. Are you getting battery power? What? No. Look. Cool. After this, let's cross. What? Do you want to look at this stuff first? No, I just... Never mind. This... Hmm. Oh, this is a timeline for the Million District. So this is basically, this is just like a very quick basic history of the Million District in, of Minneapolis, Minnesota. 1821. Looks like the decline started around 1930. Oof. Yeah, so it was uh, the government mills of... I mean, think about it. Urban exploration and going illegally into, ha into potentially haunted places is interesting, but what is perhaps more interesting is keeping alive your local city's history. Why was that even necessary? It wasn't. Oh. I guess they're closed, which sucks. Yeah, shoot. And there's an exit. Yeah, they, they literally just put a business in this old abandoned building. Oh, dude. Wow. Okay, so I guess they closed at five. Dang. Sucks, yeah, we should have. We should actually walk through here. We should do a yeah. day run at some point. Yeah, we should come back here. Cause this place is cool. Like, you know, I mean, in oh, addition, in addition, <laughs> Mill City Museum, Minnesota Historical Society. In addition to doing like abandoned places, we should also go to these more like historical places too. That'd be pretty fun. Right. Oh wow. Jeez. I mean, look at this place. Let's go to that. Let's not go to these. Yeah, apparently it's I mean, you have to really admire just all the histor all the history that places like this have, you know? I'm completely up for like histor like his things like this historical society just keeping things well, I guess nice or as nice as they can be, so other people can learn Could more about the out. past. I'm not sure if you can do it. I don't know. I don't know. My family, my family used to travel a lot, so. I actually see like other buildings through the building. My family covered wars, you know. <laughs> anyway, I my family used to travel a lot, especially when I was a kid. So I've kind of gotten, I've definitely gotten an appreciation for history and for culture. So. And yeah, Ameri Americans have culture too. So why not look into your own to, into your own culture by going to your by looking into your local history? Yeah, I mean, it's been around here for a long time. Yeah, I mean, this building is like at least a hundred years old, if not more. I don't really remember what that said over there. I was kind of distracted with everything we were doing, but they said they started building in like eighteen twenty like something. Two hundred years old. Oh, that's even more impressive. So yeah, something that's like 200 years old and to still be standing is damn impressive. It's imp well, the only reason it's standing is because they made it into businesses. Well, I mean, it's also basically built like a castle too. So. Yeah. We made Definitely. this good new business in the shell of a business. So basically, I mean, oh wow, it has the same like architecture that they wouldn't, you know. Boom. Old. Yeah. Pillsbury Times. Oh yeah, the Pillsbury sign over there. You might not be able to read it, but that bright red sign I'm kind of pointing at it is it says Pillsbury's best flower. I think they started here too, didn't they? I have no idea. I would have to look that up. <laughs> you want to walk across the bridge now, don't you? That bridge is walkable. You know what? Why don't we do that? Whoa! It is. You know. What? Yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we do that before we ex end the video? Sounds fun, right? I mean, we're at like almost 25 minutes, but that's not too long. Is that the Nicolet Bridge? As long as it doesn't go over like 40 minutes, we'll be yeah. no. No, I think the Nicolet Bridge is still in use. Well, let's go to the Nicolet Islands. Dude, we are not going to Satan's Cave. Oh. Wait, Satan's Cave is in the Nicolet Islands? Yes. Huh. Why? 
because right. we could get lost. Yeah, it's, I can it's also, nowhere near yeah. as large as the catacombs in like Paris or whatever, but it's still huge. Yeah, Noel actually was telling me the other day he looked into the sa into those Satan's caves place. Apparently, it's really friggin' dangerous. It's really yeah, big. I know. That, that's why I wanted to go. Well, maybe when we're more prepared and it's yeah, not I don't dark. Be stuck in a cave that literally stretches for stretches for several miles, and it's underground just now. Well, yeah. It's a Do sewer. we remember where we parked? Yeah. It's Literally the parking lot right there. Oh, boy. oh, these are the North Star lofts now. Apparently. Wait, so people live here? I guess so. No, aren't those the ones where that guy is on? I found the gate to hell. Actually, that would be kind of neat to live at like a historical site. That would be really awesome. I wonder if my friend lives near the Nubbing Block. Ooh, they got these places like all. Hey, can you hold this quick? Really nice looking on the inside, yeah. Okay. Do you want to go to the catacombs of France? No, I'm not going to say Oh yeah, we want to go to the Paris catacombs. <laughs> Is that where the guy that lost VHS was found? Yeah. That's what they say. Like, but thousands of people have been lost there. Yeah, it's real. It stretches for over 400 miles there. Yeah. And, and people regularly get maybe lost like, and die in there. What so. About the Detroit catacombs. Could you even imagine the horrors that happen there? I can't even imagine going to Detroit, honestly. Imagine the sewers of Detroit. Oh God, no. <laughs> You've heard now we're back. To the... Oh the... shoot! Cars. We were just kind of like in the road stories about the how big the rats are in New York. Could you even imagine the ones in Detroit? Hey, 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 hey. Those people pay good money to live there. Be nice. <laughs> I Jono got my joke. I wouldn't live there even if someone paid me to live there. Alright, in all seriousness, I, I know Detroit's not the best place, but I'm sure that there are some pretty good people. We're just having fun, y'all. Some lovely viewers probably live in Detroit. Right? What, Chris? No? I said I'm also sure that there's worse places in Detroit. Come down to Cleveland, other than that and that. Man, it's kind of sad. Like, nobody's dressed up for Halloween. Except for you. you. Well, I am. I'm I a didn't, box. Like I said in the last video, I didn't really plan out a costume. I was kind of hoping I'd have, like, a bunch of people dressed up with me, though. Literally no one did. You're barely dressed up. You're wearing a fox hood and a tail. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, speaking of which, Sweet Noel, bro. who made your hood? Uh, Boopa. Bupa. Who's Bupa? 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 Yeah. Bups? Bupa's awesome. Yeah. Bupa's got some great art, so... Check it out! Some great art? Oh my god. It's... Great. Wait, what's Bupa's uh, little company thing? Spirit Wolf? Spirit Wolf? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. I can put it in the links, dude. We'll just do that later. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, if we do... If we don't put... The, if we forget to put the links, go to Facebook and check out Spirit Wolf. <laughs> And, and make sure it's like <laughs> the first suit one. Yeah. It's not the only thing Bubba does, but that, that's, there's like three different Spirit Wolf companies on Facebook, and it gets really confusing if you aren't, if, in, if you don't know exactly what you're looking for. Well, either way, Bubba does some great art. Yes. And from what I've heard, has some damn great prices. Yes. So yeah, this is we're walking across this bridge, and we're basically just plugging Bubba's art. Is oh, is this the Nicolette Bridge? I believe this is. Oh, so oh, yeah. This the... is where I did my Naruto run. Well, who wouldn't Naruto run over this? Yeah, this stretches for like a mile. Yeah, there dude. was at least like 200 people. So we're not going to go on the entire bridge. We don't have to. Well, that would be two miles each way. Or one mile. Two mi yeah, two miles each way, whatever. Man. No, this. We should definitely come out here when it's light up. I didn't really think this through, but this is. It's yeah, it's all right. Really yeah, I mean, it's hard to see some stuff, but we got some good footage and some nice, and I have some nice like scenery of just the Minneapolis skyline. Guys, why is the star upside down? What? It's star. Who cares? Oh, it is upside down. <laughs> all right, North Star Blankets is a satanic company. Got it. Well, because I remember seeing it because the, the Naruto run started on the other side and it went this way. And I remember being like. Why is that star upside down? Yeah, I remember being here now. Also, yeah, can I just, can I just, can I just say how awesome of a name North Star Blankets is? I want a North Star blanket. I mean, Minnesota is the North Star state, also, so. This bridge. Chris it, didn't know that. I literally had to tell him. He's like, "Why is the store called North Star?" Because that's the what. Well, no, I, knew, I knew it was places. a thing, but like, what are North Star blankets? I've never heard of them. They're blankets that guide you when you're lost. 
<laughs> in dreamland. It's not ex. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, but instead like right of uh, guiding you to you. Jerusalem, yeah, yeah. it guides you to hell. Yeah, people are all, a lot of people are on bikes. It's a good way to bike. No, I was gonna, just gonna say. Why are you nudging me? Honestly, is this a vehicle bridge or is it a, no, specifically it's for just bike. bikes and walking, dude? Yeah, why would you drive a car through off the, over this bridge? This this section here is a sidewalk where people. I walk. just think it's the it's intersection odd. is like, for bikes. What kind of cities besides Minnesota has a bike bridge? Oh wait, what the hell? I don't know. That's well, a car. Oh, Maybe cars can cars. come on it. I don't think cars are allowed on here. Police vehicles, part. I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, I can well, imagine police, police and vehicles. police or emergency or other kinds of emergency vehicles could be allowed on there. Ooh. Oh, there's a park on the end. We should go to the park that's on the other end. Oh my gosh. Really this video is getting long. Actually, it looks like we're already halfway there. Yeah, we're at 31 minutes already, though. But they actually have like a picture of the building before it was destroyed. Beneath the surface. And nice. It. Oh, real nice. Yeah, a big old hole right there. That's fun. People are just douches. <laughs> but no, you get the Probably the same kind of jerks that oh, vandalize the stuff there. down there. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm also getting a lot of pictures here. That's cool. I'm going to go over to this way. They're kind of leaving, but... Check it out, everyone. The river. This is the Mississippi, right? Yep, we've got a canal right here. I'll be honest with you, if you do come to Minneapolis, I know there's not a lot of great spots, but this is definitely one of the better ones. That's yeah. a dinky town. That's a, that's yeah, like I was saying, even in even in places that are typically seen in a negative light, kind of like mini, the Twin Cities are here in, in in Minnesota, there are is a lot of beautiful. There is a lot of beauty and historical value to it. You know, I mean, I've lived in I've lived in Minnesota literally my entire life, and I would rather not live anywhere else. I like it here. Yeah, I live in Wisconsin. Why do you think I'm stuck all the time? Well, you because you live in specifically in Wisconsin. I'd be depressed too. Oh, John was over there still. John, we're over here. Stop contemplating things. Stop contemplating life and its mysteries. <clears throat> it is park patrol. Shut. Yeah, so it's just park patrol making sure everything's on yeah, the up that and up. Makes perfect sense. I mean, you guys are right. Way, like anywhere, you, any major, anywhere you go, really, any major city in Minnesota, you'll find the Min uh, Mississippi. And it is raging. I actually got like three waterfalls right here. That's why they had to build the canal so boats could get through. <laughs> Should I jump? That's not even funny. Oh look guys. Oh, St. Anthony man. I thought it said St. Anthony ham. But brah. Thank God. Okay, so what part of the map are we on? I looked up Satan's Cave and I'm like, where is the island? I want to see what it is. Why don't you Google Satan's Cave? I did. Which part are we on? Why are we talking about Satan's Cave? Why not? I mean, it's Where's under this bridge. bridge. Oh, it is under the bridge. It's yeah. under the bridge. I just don't know where we are on this. Urban Decay. Um, Nicolet probably, Island Utility Tunnel, Satan's Cave. Probably one of these three bridges right there, by the way. I think we're the one in the middle, actually. That looks good, because you got the one over there. Oh! You got the other one over there. So oh, yeah, so we're probably the one in the middle, so it's right like right, right under here where we are. I figured. I didn't know. And we can get to there? That. So, does that mean the caves are underneath the lake? The river? I know, it has to be up the last. Or is it just oh. on one of the sides? Is there actually caves over here? There's it's so underneath, but yeah. yeah God. This section might be a little loud for the video, but god damn it's beautiful out here tonight. Right. Oh my god, stop making those jokes. <laughs> climbs, climbs up to the bridge, you're compelled. Oh you, really you're struck with the, with the mysterious and sudden urge to jump. Yeah, that's just like, that sounds like something that would happen in Pokemon. God. Did I say to jump? No. Poke, Pokemon. Are you a boy or a girl? Grandpa, why don't you remember me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my god.
Uh, <laughs> our friend theory is that uh, uh, Mr. Mime is Ash's dad. This car is going kind of oh. fast. That was a pedestrian car. And I don't think they're allowed on here. I'm pretty sure they're not allowed on here. This isn't a fucking road. Holy yeah, that the fact that they weren't going to slow down. The... No, they wouldn't have stopped. Well, they're going to run okay, into the park so patrol soon this enough. This isn't the Nicollet Bridge, this is the Stone Arch Bridge. Oh, yeah, okay. The Stone Arch Bridge. So, wait, is that the... Is that the Nicollet Bridge? That could be. Okay, well... Oh, yeah, I thought well, we're, well, we're still... Alright, so we're not on the Nicollet Bridge, we're on the Stone Arch Bridge. <laughs> Alright. You know what, everyone? I think we've actually got a lot of good footage tonight for this little trip. But we're at like about 36 minutes, which is a pretty long video. So I think we should wrap it up. What do you say? We can cut it off here. What? what? Thank you all for watching if you enjoyed. Yeah, that's a plane. I know it was really close. You can see all the lights and stuff on it. Well, yeah, there's an airport here in Minneapolis. That's probably where it's landing. I know it's just cool to look at. I know.